what's going on? This is Steven C. Raphael, the OMAD man. Okay, there's a lot of OMAD guys out there, but I am the OMAD man from the planet of Omadia. Check, mm, check, one, two. Is this on? Check, one. <coughs> Okay, I would like to tell you about the benefits of going on one meal a day. First off, you're gonna get thinner, okay? Think about it, you, if, you, if you feed your hamster, you know, and you, you don't give him that much food, he's gonna reduce. Okay, uh, people are like, uh, let's see, what are the grams or what of this? You know what, who cares? I don't even care about counting calories, that doesn't matter either. You know, get a plate with one meal a day, put whatever you want on it, you know? I mean, don't have it, you know, stacking up. Look at this, I was a piglatory. Look at that, look how big I am. Look at that fake smile with my eyes closed. Look at that big cookie monster. How embarrassing. I'm mad right now. You know what? OMAD stands for, oh, I'm mad. Okay, well I'd like to tell you one thing about OMAD. Think about OMAD, hey, and thank all those people that uh, sent me a dollar PayPal. That's totally cool, that means you like me. Sometimes I gotta admit, I'm thinking, are these guys just entertained by me? I mean, am I really bringing them value? I'm fishing for compliments right now. <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Okay, sorry. Okay, listen, um, I'd like to say the first thing is one of the benefits of being on OMAD one meal a day is TV ads and uh, you're driving, you see these billboards of the gas station food, ooh, two of this, meat pies, whatever, you know, or pizzas, you know. God, do you have to eat constantly? Are you a little piggy? I was, okay, I had diabetes. I always try to show, I think these things are going away. Um, okay, I was to give myself shots. Look at this, I tuck in my belt every single day now. Nowadays, people keep their belt out and they're, they're like a triangle. And how come fat people are always so happy? <laughs> and there was, I was gonna ask, are heavy people, is there such a thing as an arrogant? an arrogant fat person? I don't think so. Because if they're three to 400 pounds, they're gonna feel bad about themselves, even though they dress incredible and they get their nails done and stuff. Okay, I gotta give you the benefits, okay? These are my opinions and you know, whatever. Okay, I'd also like to say commercials, television, um, at movies and all this stuff, None of it is gonna affect you. Food is off my radar. I got a subscriber named Tattooed Vegan or Sherry. You know, she we were watching, uh, We were in fact, Joe at the OMAD Revolution, he mentioned me. He's my hero. He saved my life. Do you think doctors saved my life? Do you think the nurse saved my life? All they did was give him, all they did was give me more, uh, all they did was just give me more medicine. Okay, uh, let's see. Why don't they say, hey man, knock it off. Why don't we send you, if I'm at the doctor's office, they should have sent me in the next room with some big Bertha lady, and she should have said, I'm gonna slap you silly till you stop. You're killing yourself. Killing me softly with his song. Okay, uh, let's see. I would like to say, uh, um, nothing tastes better than being thin. Nothing tastes better. You know what? I gotta admit, I'm trying to gain weight now. I'm like 140, 139. Last night, I got this piano job where I play really sophisticated. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, tip your waitress. You know, in like one of those department stores where I get dressed up in tuxedo and stuff. You know, and they had licorice in the uh, lounge. I went, you know, every hour I go up there and I go, and they had licorice. I had some, yeah. Why not? Because I can pretty much eat whatever I want. I I went from 200 to about 139. And you know what? I had about six or seven pieces. I got out on the scale this morning because you have to weigh yourself every day. <coughs> Check one. I got on the scale exactly the same weight. You know, I don't think I could lose weight. Now, here's the exciting part for you. Okay, check this out. All right, let's see. Who do we got here? We got Cookie Monster. Now, the thing about it is, here's the exciting part. Now, when, I, when, I, when you lose the weight, at first, you're going to go through these plateaus. People that are watching me going, dang, you know, I've got a bit on a plateau for three weeks. Three weeks is another thing. I've been on them for six weeks. I've eaten almost, I've eaten less than Gandhi. <laughs> I don't know what Gandhi ate, you know. I saw that movie once. Okay. This cup, this cup is always dirty, and I never check it before the show. I've got, a, if you go into the descriptions of this video, I've got like five cups. Food is fuel. 
uh, hunger equals weight loss, all these kind of, and, and then they have like 10 reasons in the back. Um, and so they're really cool. Okay, we've been going for five minutes already. And uh, let me tell you what makes you fat. Do you wanna know? Here's what makes you fat. What makes you fat is snacking. You could have your meal, have your meal, you know, go to a Chinese buffet and get whatever you want, but one plate. You don't need more than one plate. Gosh, your mom and dad just gave you one plate. Why do you need more than that? Are you, you're not hungry. It just spikes your insulin if you have bread and if you have um, sugar and carbs and rice. You know, you're not hungry. Um, so basically what I'm saying here is what makes you fat is snacking. Okay, so I don't snack, I don't graze, I don't snack, okay? Last night I was bored and I went up there and I didn't even eat out of boredom. There was free licorice, there was red vines and I had a few. So what? But the thing about it is, it was very hard for me to reduce, but on OMAD, I, um, I have a food log and if you uh, give me any kind of donation, uh, I'm gonna have my email in there, just, uh, or send me a, a link or something. I will uh, copy and paste for the last 205 days, every single thing I ate, okay? Because some people wanna know, but you know what? Basically, all you need to do is eat food. You can't have ding-dongs and, and uh, gummy bears and stuff for a meal. I mean, you can maybe once in a while, but um, basically what's happening is, another thing is, now it took me a while for it to start coming down. I would lose, and like, first I lost like 10 pounds, then I lost like three pounds and two pounds, then it stayed for like two weeks, then it reduced again. Your body doesn't want to give up the weight that it thinks it should be out. But now, I think if I ate three or four pizzas and stuff, I don't think I would gain, because your body is, my body is used to 139 to 140, 141. I've got that play. Okay, if I ate three or four pizzas a day, yes, I would gain weight. But what I'm saying is your body's getting used to it and it becomes forgiving. But you wanna, the basics of OMAD is, uh, the basis of OMAD is you have to pick a time every day. Look at Nikki Houston. She's one of my friends, like a roommate and, uh, uh, when we're like 18 in California. She's had 17 years of failure. I don't think that's very long. I had 30 years. I was a hungry, hungry man. I was a fat, fat man. I was a fat, fat man. I was chomping and eating and going to Harry's buffet and I was going to McDonald's. and You know what? I could eat so many things at McDonald's that I can go to Subway and eat a couple sandwiches there. You think I was full? No. I don't know why I was. I think it was because my body is starving for nutrition. Okay, so um, I'd like to say here we're gonna go, and in social situations, don't, if your time is five o'clock and they're eating, you know, if it's Christmas or if it's Hanukkah or if it's a Valentine's Day party or whatever, if they're eating it too, baby, you can't be eating at that time, okay? So, now, uh, the basics of OMAD is you just eat once a day. It's very simple. Einstein says if you can't explain things very simple, you don't know it yourself. And Einstein was pretty smart. He was a Jewish guy too. Okay, I would like to say this. Here comes your Chinese wisdom. Oh, master. Tell me how to lose weight. Give me a metaphor. Okay. Too much talk and arriving nowhere is like climbing a tree to catch a fish. In other words, all I do on the show is talk. I'm here every single day. I'm here every single day. I'm motivating you. I'm trying to motivate you, okay? Because I'm motivated. And plus, you know, I got to be honest with you. Even though I'm from the planet of Omadia, Omad, Omadia, check, check, check. Um, <clears throat> you know, this is, look at my face, okay? This is for people who've never seen. I show the same pictures every week. Look at my face full of acne. Actually, that's coffee stains from my, my coffee. But uh, look at my face. I had face-ation. I look like a gumdrop. Look at my face. Okay, there I look like a light bulb head. 
Okay, and here's another one. And there's my, I think that was my first day on OMAD right there. Okay, and so uh, let's see. Uh, that's your Chinese proverb. And what it actually means is, is this, everybody. If, see, all I do is talk on this show. And, well, I play some piano too. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, people who don't know me think it's weird. But the uh, thing about it is, um, please tell me if you like me and if I've been beneficial to you and I have a fat bucks thing that really it, it helps me It helps support the show But if I never got any I wouldn't care because of the fact that I'm gonna do this and this keeps me completely accountable Okay, so uh, another thing I want to say is uh, I will send you send you my food log like I already said Okay, we got 10 minutes and 44 uh, seconds already went by and For any donation 70 buck and I'll send it to you. it doesn't matter. Okay, um I would like to tell you another Chinese proverb. A rat that gnaws on a cat's tail invites destruction. So in other words, are you snacking? Are you fat? Do you have trouble pooing? Yeah. You know, if you're, you know, some people eat on the toilet. You know, if you snack, if you go to the movies and you go and spend $85 on a popcorn and $76 on M&Ms and um, stuff, or you go to, uh, you know, uh, McDonald's or Taco Bell or wherever, if you keep snacking here and there, all you're going to do is get yourself bigger. None of you people want to be fat. I have a life now. I've got jobs now. I play at an apartment store. You know, I'm writing music for people all around the world. You know, I'm... <laughs> Sorry, I was fake crying. <coughs> Trying to get sympathy, it didn't work. Okay, and uh, I'd like to say another proverb is this. Check this out. I told you, and you hear this all the time, but I got a lot of different people watching the show. Okay, the, the bamboo, be the bamboo. It takes eight years for the bamboo to sprout and start growing. Eight years, I'd give up. But you know what? After that eight years, it grows four feet a day. You could literally watch it grow, okay? And uh, I just wanted to say... You gotta stay committed. You gotta stay committed. You know, you got... I'll send you my... Uh, you can just make it every... My currency for this show is... Getting people to, to, to text me and then you guys could text. This is like a community and talk to other people. And it really, really makes me happy when I, I mean, I got my iPhone and I go, you know, every set. Hey, check it out, you guys. I got a new business card. <laughs> Let me see. Where is it? Okay. I'll cover up my phone number. But I, I'm pretty lonely, so you might as well call me. There's a, I'm the yo mad man. I love that. I am the yo mad man. <laughs> Okay, I just got it because I played the parm store. Somebody wants me to play at their party or something. <coughs> Hungry equals weight loss. OMAD is the life for me. OMAD is the diet for me, but it's a lifestyle. OMAD is the diet for me. Raise your flag. You're gonna love it. OMAD, OMAD. Thank you. All right. Can you believe my energy? And I'm sick. Yeah, I've got like some kind of, <laughs> I was up all night, I'm hot, I woke up, took a bath. This show is late, usually I'm done at 6.15. I did it at like 7.20. You know what? I don't know why, because it's so cold in here in Nebraska, and I didn't. I went out without a jacket, okay? That doesn't look fine. Okay, I have a Steven C. Raphael fan club, and people post, and I post funny stuff, so I don't waste time on the show. Food is fuel, and I'm gonna set up something with Skype so you could have a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. <laughs> the only reason I, oh, he thinks he's a coach now. Yeah, I do, because I lost 60 pounds in six months. Check it out. There's my fake hair. Look at my stomach. Do you think I was happy there? God, and I was hungry that day. I'm always hungry. <laughs> Um, I would like to say, if anybody views me as angry, I'm not. Uh, this is just a character I play in my show, so thank you. But if I talk like this, um, take uh, one meal a day, you would be so bored. Okay, I would just like to say, uh, I got some free coffee, or I got some coffee at the Starbucks. The guy is 340 pounds. I wrote a song about him. He's a big, big boy. 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 He's a big, big boy.
boy. He's a big, big boy. I don't understand why he's 20 years old or 23 and he wants to be 375 pounds. He could be big boned. <laughs> I love saying he could be big boned. You can't tell him or you're, it's better to go to his funeral than insult him. Okay, uh, let's see, I say before we go here, we got uh, about 20 seconds left. We're gonna go, uh, here's the only way you could, uh, is like that, eat less food. One meal a day. And, and you know, if you start today, text me and say I'm on day one. Understand, you are gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You're gonna be hungry. You gotta surrender the fact that you're gonna be hungry. And uh, you know, I, I've, got a, I've got a whole life here now. You know, before I was in bed all day long and by myself. And I wasn't really working, I was just writing music. Okay, I wanna thank everybody for the makers of the show, for the sponsors. I don't have any sponsors. <laughs> I do the show every single day and I just wanna say, Rock out, and I'm going back to the planet of Omedia. Your planet here, all you guys do is you're on your iPhones all day long and you eat all day long. I want to tell you one thing. Let's say it all together. I like you.